Okay, so in this video, we continue our discussion on comparing the unlike fractions with different numerators. And what we'll try to do is we to find out a better method to compare these fractions as compared to the method that we saw in the earlier video. Now, just to recap the earlier method, what we did is we wrote down the equivalent fractions for both the fractions. And then we picked the ones which had the same denominator. And then it was very simple for us to compare that we just had a look at the numerator. And if whichever fraction had a greater numerator was the greater fraction. That was the first method. And the other method which we discussed was, uh, let us say that we had the fraction n1 by d1, that is numerator and denominator. And n2 by d2 that is another de uh, denominator so what we did is we multiplied the numerator and denominator of this fraction 1 by the denominator of fraction 2 and we did a similar thing for the fraction 2 that is the numerator and the denominator of the fraction 2 were multiplied by the denominator 1. Now uh, let us see the disadvantages of both of these methods. The first method in which we have to write down the equivalent fractions for both of the fractions till we locate a fractions which have common denominator. Now it could be that in some cases you would have to find out a lot of equivalent fractions before you come to find the denominator that is common for both of them. And that could be very tiring and not a very encouraging way to do it. And in the second method, what could happen is this product, the product that we consider here d1 into d2 and this, this product, right, it could come out to be a huge number. So that definitely this one, though it is a better method than the first one, but it's still not the best method. So now essentially what I would like to do is to remove this iterations that we need to do here to remove this manner at the same time ensure that we don't get very huge numbers over here we have to play with like the numbers that we can conveniently manage so we need to find out the first multiple or the or, or, or the or the minimum number that the first number which would be common for both the denominators and that we can do using a least common multiple because LCM is going to be the minimum or the smallest number which will be the multiple for both. So uh, that is what we are going to do and once we have found out the LCM we just use multiply both the fractions by a number so that the denominators result into that LCM. So let me just take an example to explain this more clearly. So we are given these two fractions 5 by 6 and 13 by 15 and we need to find out. So let me just write these 5 by 6 versus 13 by 15. We need to compare this. So now we are going to use the LCM method. So first we write down the two numbers 6 and 15 and then we proceed to find the LCM so we start with the smallest number which is a factor of 3 uh, 6 that is 2 uh, 2 times 3 is 6 15 remains as it is then we have 3 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 5 is 15 now the only factor that we can have is going to be 5 so 5 times this becomes 1 this is 1 so the LCM that we get for the number 6 and 15 is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 which is 30. So now what we need to do is we need to come up with denominators. We need to multiply these two fractions 5 by 6 and 13 by 15 such that the denominators come out to be 30. So let us do that for the first fraction 5 by 6. Now what should I multiply? this denominator so that I get 30 here. 
and then it is we know that 6 times 5 is 30 so I need to multiply the numerator also by the same number so 5 times 5 is 25 by 30 similarly we need to use the same method for finding the equivalent fraction for 13 by 15 so 15 times something is going to give me 30 right so we know that straightforward 15 times 2 is 30 and I also need to multiply 13 by 2 so we have 26 by 30 now what we have done is we have converted we got two fractions two equivalent fractions for each of these but then this are now converted into like fractions now these two are like fractions and because of this it is very easy for us to compare and we know that 26 parts out of 30 parts are definitely greater than 25 parts out of 30 parts and this is how we use the LCM to compare unlike fractions with different numerators now let us quickly summarize all our learnings and observations on comparing unlike fractions so when we have unlike fractions with the same numerator it is straightforward the fraction that has a smaller denominator is greater then if we have unlike fractions with different numerators we first find out the LCM of the denominators and then we multiply the fractions by a number that results in the denominator being equal to the LCM obtained above so this step converts the two fractions into like fraction and then we apply the rule of like fraction which says that the great the fraction which will have a greater numerator is greater so that concludes our discussion on comparing the unlike fractions